In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design around a picture of a house in 3D in less than 4 minutes. Now a lot of the times this hybrid method only works with a specific image of a property. The image does need to be taken in a one point perspective straight onto the house. It can't be on an angle or this isn't going to work very well. To start, we need to import the image of the house. Go ahead and click on the tools menu and then select picture import wizard. Go ahead and click next and then make sure to set the picture type to picture. Go ahead and click next and then locate your image. Once you have it selected, go ahead and finish the rest of the steps of the wizard and then place it in your design. Now a picture by default in plan view or top down view will show as a little rectangle. You need to go into perspective to see the image. Go ahead and select the image and press the Z key on your keyboard to zoom into a selection. Now by default, images rotate around with you. And this isn't gonna work with a house. So we need to make sure we disable the option rotate to face viewer. Now the image is obviously too small, so we do need to make sure that we scale it up to the right scale. Now I do know that this garage door is 16 feet, so let's scale up the image. Now I'm gonna lower the elevation of the picture for the house to be touching the terrain. Now let's use the grid to help us scale the image. I'm gonna line up the very beginning of the garage to a grid mark. Now we do know that each grid mark is two feet by default. So we're just going to scale up the image to eight grid marks. And then go ahead and continue lowering the elevation so that way we can use the grid a little bit easier. There we go. Now it looks like the house is to scale. I like to lower the elevation of the house to where it's touching the terrain for a good visualization. Now we can start designing around the image. So now we're gonna add the driveway. Go ahead and click on the landscape tab and then click on path. Adjust the size of the path. I'm gonna say 18 feet. I'm gonna stick it right in the middle of the garage and drag out. Right click to finish. And now we have our driveway. Go ahead and change the material as desired and then maybe add a border if you need it. I'm gonna just turn off the grid for now so I can see everything without the grid over it. All right, let's create a path from the driveway to the front door. We're gonna click path, adjust the size and the width of the path, and then go ahead and place it where you need it. Right click to finish. Now to match these two materials, we can actually click on our driveway, hold shift, click on the pathway, Click on the main tab and then select add shapes. Now the materials are the same and we can click on edit borders to add our border back. Next, let's create a flower bed. Click on the landscape tab, click on region, and then go ahead and add a region where you want it. Now this is sitting on top of the pathway. If you press the B key on your keyboard, you can actually send it back. And then go ahead and change the material. Now we can add plants to our design. I'm just gonna add a plant row for this tutorial. And I'm gonna change the plant to a common boxwood. Now that's way too many, but we can adjust the number of plants by just going right here and hitting three. I'm gonna add another pathway just to connect this path to the front door. Finally, add any additional details that you would like in your design. And there we go, a quick 3D design using a photo as our background. Thanks for watching. For more information or for more tutorials, please go to our website at ideaspectrum.com.